Hello everyone! Excited to be back again with a new Donna Downey Curator video. Kristen here, and today I'm going to be working in my new art journal. Now this is the art journal that I had created last Monday. And today we're going to finally start filling it up. Now I'm working outside the art journal at first here. I have a book page from the journal and some golden clear tar gel. I'm going to grab a palette knife and then just spread the tar gel on the page. We just want to have a nice even layer. All right, now over here I have some dried leaves. And so I'm going to press these leaves down into the tar gel. Then I'm gonna reach for a tub of Prima Marketing Mika Flakes in gold leaf. Drop a few of those down on the tar gel. And also some Mika powder in rust. Now I'm gonna grab my palette knife again. Get some more gel and just lay it down over the leaf. The tar gel is going to look really milky when you first spread it, but it's gonna to dry totally clear and shiny. Almost like a resin light -like coat. But tar gel is pretty great because it's not so stinky, pretty easy to clean up, um, simple to work with, and it creates an, a wonderful result. Now this is going to need to dry, and I don't recommend speeding the drying process along. So I'm just going to set this one aside and let it dry for a couple days. And while that one is drying, I do have one that I already made to work with. All right, so first up, I'm going to use some scissors to cut down my leaf just a bit. So that the end result can be a little something like that. But before I actually start gluing this down, I'm going to use a stencil on the background. And I'll use some Adirondack Color Wash Spray in Butterscotch. little like that. Now I'm going to use some Glimmer Mist in It's Orange. So I'm going to grab some E6000 glue. Once you have the leaf on the page and the gel medium, it makes this quite sturdy and heavy, so you'll need a stronger glue to adhere it to the journal.
Now E6000 is very stinky. Just be careful with that. Right now I'm gonna grab another one of Donna's stencils. Um, this one has become a, a really big favorite of mine for just kind of texture in the backgrounds of paintings. And then also in art journals. I've just found this particular design to be so versatile. So I have just some modeling paste on a palette knife. And I'll also put some Now let's get some more ink spray on the page. I'm reaching for a Dilutions in ground coffee. You can even help that along. Alright, let's go ahead and pull out some black acrylic. I'm using golden carbon black. And just a paintbrush. So now we just need to let this adhesive dry and then we can do the gold leaf.
All right, so while I wait on the gold leaf adhesive to dry, I have a bit of gold paint in a fine line applicator. And I'm just going to play around with the doodling here and there. These are really fun to work with, to draw with, um, to let go and just make marks in the journal. Right now the journal is ready for some gold leaf. And you can tell because the adhesive will go clear as opposed to milky. So I'm gonna gently pull out a piece of gold leaf. I'll just lay it down on the book. This is a very messy process, I won't lie. Very messy, but worth it, I feel. Okay, now I'm just going to use a brush. This is just a, my crafting toothbrush. And in some spots, I'm probably being a little too rough, um, but you just want to kind of gently scrape away and all that excess gold leaf will fall away. And then you can save that for other projects or toss it, whatever you want to do with that. and it will get absolutely everywhere. But that's part of the fun. All right, I'm gonna tidy up my desk and then we'll continue on. So this is what we have left to work with. I'm really loving the gold leaf on this page. I think it looks beautiful with the black and the butterscotch. And then of course I have some of that gold from the fine liner right down there. And I wanna do a little bit more work on this guy because I just don't feel like he fits in just yet. So we'll start with a Posca pen. This one is the broad tip. And we'll just edge this page. And as you can see, that's already a little bit better. And we'll go ahead and add one of these. Um, let's do lifelines. Actually, we'll cut it down here.
Now the Uniball Signo uh, UM153 pen, my favorite white ink pen. And we can just start doodling in our journal. I really love to doodle with triangles. Right, and there it is. That is our first art journal spread in our brand new mixed media journal.